Hi there and welcome to Craft Jitsu's How to Embroider a Wagtail Part 2. In this one we'll be showing you how to transfer the design. Now I'd like the wagtail to be sat on this piece of fence so I'm trying to carefully position him so that he looks right when the design has been transferred. Now I've put a piece of dressmaker's carbon paper behind him just so that we're ready to transfer the design when he's in the right place. Now I think he's in the right place, I'll tape him down just to keep him secure for when we put him in the frame in a minute. Now I'm going to put him in an embroidery hoop, the wrong way round for, for hand embroidery, just so that it keeps the fabric nice and tight. Now you can see the frame covers the piece of dressmaker's carbon paper in the top right hand corner and that will cause us a bit of a problem later on. So when you do it, make sure that you don't trap the carbon paper in the frame. Now we're going to trace round the bird. I'm using a blunt needle but you could use a worn out ballpoint pen instead if you like. Now a little bit about the design. Uh, normally I choose a, a picture that I like and then I print it out, trace over the important marks and colour changes and then use that as the design process in what we're doing now. I don't actually have a printer at the moment so I used my phone and traced it from there so I can't actually show you the original I'm afraid but you get the idea. Along with the basic outlines of the bird I also put in the colour changes as well so that's why there's all these funny little squiggles all over the place. Now carefully remove some of the tape and check to see if all the lines have transferred. And now you'll notice what we were talking about earlier, the carbon paper is stuck in the frame and has left a little red mark on the background fabric. So to remove it, we just go back to the stamp pads and just put a little bit of ink over the top just to disguise it. See, these things happen to me too. See, the video actually kind of makes it look a bit worse, but it does honestly look better. Now I was going to talk a bit about the threads I was going to use. These are rayon threads called Natesh. They have a lovely sheen on them which makes them very nice to do the feathers with for birds but they can be an absolute pig to work with because they've so many fine fine fibres that you can see here. You just have to look at them and they seem to split apart and shred. And I'll just mention while I remember that whatever threads you use always make sure you've got all the colours you need before you start. Now you don't need to use Natesh or these fancy threads, these are just stranded cottons, they work perfectly well as well. There are six strands here and I would use two at once. Now I hope that answers some of the questions I get about threads, do feel free to write and ask anything you like and I'll see if I can help. I hope you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel or share the video on your Facebook page.